Hi, welcome again to my channel. Today, I will give you a free source code for the online college library system using PHP and MySQL. So to start with, let's download first our source code. Go in our browser and type bit.ly online live system. Now let's wait for a moment because this is already saved at one drive so after that you can see that there will be a folder named library system so all you need to have is or all you need to do is to download this file and let's wait for a moment and then click save and then ok and then let's wait for a moment to download our source code after downloading you can have to extract the file so let's extract this make sure to have your render software and extract to live system so we have here the extract extraction of our library system let's just wait for a moment because this is a 20 MB file For the next tutorial or the next free source code, I will be giving an online hotel and resource management system. So it's already done. Let's have the live system. We will copy this one, copy the folder, copy what the inside of the live system is again the live system again. So make sure to copy that. Um, go to C, SAMP, and then HT Docs. Okay. So let's do this one first because it will have the same file name, it's the same folder name. So let's wait. So let's paste it here. Okay. Let's just wait a mom for a moment. Because the file is too big because of some images anyway it is already have the admin LTE edition file powered by a bootstrap and also a wordpress okay it's already been done so let's try to open the library system first we will connect our database this one we will import this in mysql so to have that make sure to have your sump folder sump control panel and then the apache web server press start and press start also for the mysql database click here admin and click here also admin for the mysql so we're already done with this one let's go with the creating the mysql database um, click here new and then create the database name file live system 
so let's have weird live system and then click create and after that go to your live system please make sure that this is your live system so in doing that to import the file click import and then browse your computer the file please make sure that it's already been here the live system the db folder and live system that sql so click go and then it's already been imported the live system that sql file so to start with let's have the admin click the admin table password for that is admin also because it's, uh, it has sql injection so let's try to open now the local host um let's hide the folder name which is live system so this is now the gui or the display of our li online college library system using php and mysql so first and foremost before i will continue with this please also like our fb page which is this one right click with this this brims is for or brims intelligent software solutions so this one please please just like our page if you already download the source code thank you and also my youtube channel which is this one so if you're using our source code please also pay us back by using or liking our facebook page and subscribing at our youtube channel thank you so much okay so let's do it first um let's go to this is the book of all our category there are four categories we have engineering mathematics science technology and history all of those books will be is already been managed by the admin so we have the following those are available calculus made easy and we have this one also okay you can type also um any isbn or title like for example moon so it's already been done this those are the la books that are available and also it will display also that is is being borrowed so to start with let's go to the admin panel type here another keyword admin and then input username which is um let's have notepad first so the username is serverms password is admin so let's try serverms password is admin okay so we have the dashboard it has two total books this panel is having um, a wordpress style so we have two total books you can click this one also a year 2020 and the following this is the dates the months so we have borrowed and we have uh, returned books so before that we will create first course like for example because this is a college library system we will create some courses um, let's add new because already have Sci Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and Bachelor of Science in Information Systems. So click new and then the code is um, BS BSCPE that is Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering and fortunately it is my course Computer Engineering and then let's click click save and we have the following it's already been done so if you wanted to delete or edit this one just click it here edit or whatsoever okay next is we'll create student list there are no available student list so we'll try to have one mm, let's try to have China and then Juarez and then course is the one that we have created is bscpe or bachelor of science in computer engineering so we'll click that 
browse some photos we will try to have some photos um maybe we can have my youtube pictures okay um let's try to have again same with my or this one tv okay save and then we have now our photo or our account with this one okay so we already have one student and then the id here is in automatic creation for to eliminate the duplication of ids so you don't need to input it because it is automatically been added and created so let's continue to have our management of the books we have the category we already i uh, already added engineering history mathematics and science and technology so we will add a sample okay um category um i think uh finance let's try with finance books okay so we have the finance books already for the category so if you wanted to delete or edit with that you can have also these tools okay next transaction is this one um we'll create such book first because as you can see in the panel we already have calculus made easy in the user side so those book or this books has already been displayed in the user side so we'll create another that is in finance um to have a reliable source of isbn title category author let's go to goodreads.com because um i already read some books here and this is really, really a reliable source of books so like for example we will try to have finance books oh. and then yes this one okay we will not just type any books that is for our information but we will have our real books so copy this one the title that is lord of finance paste it here the title we'll have the isbn more details this one is the isbn copy and then paste it there category is finance of course the one that i have created earlier so we have author this one copy and paste it okay next publisher publisher is let's go with this in this mode we have penguin press copy paste this one and we go to the publish date so if you wanted to have any published dates go to here and then click save so we already have created our our books which is this one the lord of finance bunkers who broke the world so if we try to create or display the following in localhost let's try with having this one copy and paste this one and copy paste let's go to the user side okay the book has already been created as you can see the lord of finance the bankers who broke the world this is author liquid amid so you can type everything now that's already been done it's already been available even without quantities okay let's go to transactions um i borrow because no one borrowed here okay so for the students to log in let's have uh this one student list as long as the student have their own student id that is enrolled in the system you can copy it here and copy and then log in the student so if you try to log in click this button and then paste it here and then log in so as you can see there are no transactions for the users 
so we'll try to add some transactions ISPN no available data in the table so no accounts no accounts so if we're going to have the transactions the admin or the librarian will have to borrow some books um, we just click here the transaction so let's go borrow the student ID so let's have the student ID of Jonah um, this one the Lord of Finance ISBN first and and we go to the student ID um, let's have some notepad for us to memorize um, let's click this one let's go to the students the student list for us to get the student ID copy it here and the notepad we have the student ID and this one the ISBN so paste it now we can add some transactions like borrowing so if we wanted to borrow we'll type um, the student ID borrow student ID and then the ISBN we have control C and paste it here so if we're in the book field ISBN if you wanted to have as many books as you can you can have the following ISBN because this is the unique identification number of the books so let's save it so unavailable here I have to debug the system I already have the student list I created again Jonah Waras and have again another student ID number and we will have this the transactions of the books um, this one will try to have uh, this one just already borrowed let's try to have this one the ISPN um, here let's paste it student ID number student list because earlier the book is unavailable so that's why I have to create new because some sort of the status in the code here um, I already forget it the status is equal to 1 I really, really forgot to create such symbol of exclamation so not equal to 1 because 1 is borrowed and 0 is unavailable for the remarks so here we'll go back new and then this one borrow and then copy and paste we have Jonah Warris student ID and ISBN of the book let's go try okay so here um, Jonah Warris has already borrowed the books so let's go to the table if it's already been done so we have here um, it's already been borrowed in the borrowed books we have the student ID of 5 and then borrowed the date is today in status this one is, is borrowed so let's have um, let's taste test it if it's already been done so we'll have to log in uh, not that this one okay then log in so as you can see here the transaction of Joe Navarez is already been recorded so here the one that she borrowed is this one so all of the borrowed transactions is here you can have the list of return or the list of books that has been already been borrowed and if you try to look at if we return the books um let's have again if we try to have as you can see also we have the total number of books because i already delete deleted this, that one um we have also one student and the books that we have borrowed today so it's already been recorded in the dashboard so if we try to return the books 
transaction and then return we have again the transaction this one the student id of jonah and then we will try to return this isbn so paste it here and then save okay so the books is already been borrowed let's go to the dashboard as you can see the books is already been returned um let's try with returned okay so the book is automatically been returned after we have already transacted with the library again in the admin side okay so i think this is all for the online college library system using php and mysql please if you like the tutorial if you like the source code please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our fb page thank you and god bless